Curious about living in Murfreesboro versus Nashville? I've got the 411, so stay tuned. What's up, y'all? I'm Rachel Hadizes. I'm a realtor with Crylike in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I post new videos every week about all things real estate in the Murfreesboro area and beyond. When you're moving to a new area, so many questions run through your mind. Am I going to enjoy living there? What sort of things are there to do there? Where will I work? What's the commute like? What are the schools like? Are the homes in the community affordable? Here in Middle Tennessee, we have so many awesome communities that you can choose from that are quickly growing. There's tons of things to do here and the cost of living is reasonable. You'll definitely wanna stay tuned until the very end when I discuss the bottom line reason why you might consider choosing one city over the other to live in. Make sure to let me know down in the comments if you are considering relocating to either Murfreesboro or Nashville. Number five on this list is things to do. Without a doubt, Nashville has more things to do within the city. Nashville is our nation's music city and is well known for its impact on country music and more. Places like the Grand Ole Opry and the Country Music Hall of Fame are iconic. Nashville also has a fantastic and thriving nightlife along the Broadway Strip where you can catch a local music show at one of our honky tonks. You'll also want to check out Nashville's Centennial Park. It has a Greek replica and museum of the Parthenon. Centennial Park is a great place to go to just stroll or you can catch one of our awesome festivals that happens during the warmer months there. If you're a history buff, you'll also want to check out the Hermitage, the home of President Andrew Jackson. Also in Nashville, you're going to want to check out the Adventure Science Center. This is one of my favorite places to go as a kid. It's an interactive tech museum and planetarium. This is just a short list of things to do in Nashville. There's so much more from the Tennessee Performing Arts Center to going to catch a show by the Nashville Symphony, other history museums, parks galore. During the summer, you're also going to want to check out Nashville Shores Water Park. Murfreesboro is a thriving city in its own right, and we still have fun things to do here every weekend. If you want to catch a local band or brew, you're going to want to check out Hop Springs Beer Park. It's an 83-acre park with craft brews, disc golf, a dog park, live music, and more. Murfreesboro has some fantastic parks and a sprawling greenway with access points all over the city. Historically, Murfreesboro was the site of a Civil War battle. You can learn all about this at the Stones River National Battlefield, among other places in the city. You're also going to want to check out Cannonsburg Village. It's a replica of a pioneer village from the 1800s. They also have a festival there twice a year. One of my favorite places in Murfreesboro to take the kids, you're going to want to check out the Discovery Center. It's a hands-on museum and nature center. And during the summer, you can check out our Borough Beach Water Park. The number four thing to consider when you're looking at Nashville versus Murfreesboro are the school ratings. Actually, both Nashville and Murfreesboro have some of the best schools in the state. Nashville has over 18 schools in the area that are rated at a seven or higher by greatschools.org, while Murfreesboro has 14 schools that are rated at a seven or higher by great schools. On the other hand, Nashville is five times bigger than Murfreesboro, so the likelihood of getting in one of these top-rated school zones is a little bit higher in Murfreesboro. Regardless, Tennessee has some fantastic school options, so wherever you decide to move, there is a top-rated school near you. The number three thing that you're going to want to consider when looking at Nashville versus Murfreesboro are the crime and safety statistics. Overall, Nashville rates lower in safety than cities of a similar size, with a crime rate of 54 per 1,000 residents. Murfreesboro is rated at 36 per 1,000 residents. While bad things happen everywhere, I do feel very safe living here in Murfreesboro, and I hear about crime much less than I do coming out of the Nashville area. The majority of criminal activity that I do hear around the Murfreesboro area happens to be property theft. Regardless of which city that you choose to live in, I would not say that either city is a safe place to leave your doors unlocked, unfortunately. 
The number two thing to look at when you're considering whether to move to Nashville or Murfreesboro is the work, commute, and the employment outlook. Overall, both Nashville and Murfreesboro fare pretty well in these areas. Both cities have an average work commute of about 25 minutes. Here in Murfreesboro, we do have a lot of people that like to live in Murfreesboro but work in Nashville. And for that commute, you're going to be looking at anywhere from 45 minutes to over an hour, depending on the time of day and the traffic level. And if there's a wreck on I-24 in the mornings, I feel for your work commute. For people that are relocating from larger metropolitan areas like Los Angeles, Chicago, Atlanta, this work commute is actually much lower than what you're used to. So grab an audiobook, stream a podcast, put on your favorite playlist, and enjoy the ride. Employment outlook is great in both Nashville and Murfreesboro and is a huge driving factor to why our area is growing so fast. Both Murfreesboro and Nashville fare much better than the national average in terms of unemployment and predicted job growth outlook. Prior to COVID-19, the national unemployment rate was about 3.8%. At this same time, Nashville had a rate of 3.2% and Murfreesboro had a rate of 2.8%. Nationally, the future job growth prediction is about 33.5%. Nashville is much higher than this at 48.3% and Murfreesboro is looking even better at 56.6%. And the number one thing to look at when you're deciding whether to live in Murfreesboro or Nashville is the cost of living. So which city is more affordable to live in? Now, if you're coming from a place like California where the cost of living tends to be very high, either city is going to be more affordable to live in. However, when you do get down to the numbers, one city is more affordable than the other. The average price of a home in Nashville is about $350,000, whereas in Murfreesboro, that same house is only about $270,000. Home values only continue to rise year after year with the growth of our region's popularity. Almost everything is more expensive in Nashville when it comes down to gas, groceries, childcare, and basic essentials. However, things like utilities and the internet, they turn out to be about the same. Considering how the median income for both Nashville and Murfreesboro turns out to be very similar, Murfreesboro does win out when it comes to cost of living. Bottom line, Murfreesboro is just 30 miles southeast of Nashville, so all the fun things that Nashville has to offer is just a short distance away. Living in Murfreesboro, you can enjoy all the festivals, nightlife, and activities that Nashville has to offer while living in a safer, more affordable city with its own distinct identity. It's really no wonder why Murfreesboro is one of the fastest growing cities in the nation. If you're considering a move to the Murfreesboro area, you're going to need my free Murfreesboro relocation guide. The link to download is in the description. Wherever you decide to live, whether it's in Nashville or Murfreesboro, I'm here on behalf of CryLike to help you get to where you need to go. Send me a call, text, or email, and I'll help you make the transition as smooth as possible. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. I've got so much more to tell you about life in the Murfreesboro area and beyond, so I'll see you at the next video.